So day two of Smolov for the bench press is in the books. I did survive, and in fact, this particular uh, pressing session, I guess, was easier than the four sets of nine that I did on Tuesday. Um, I think maybe I took them a little more seriously, I'm not sure. I had a few people ask me if I was running the Smolov Junior program and just forgot to say it. No, I am running the base meso squat cycle for my bench press, and uh, yeah, that's just... A lot of other things that I've tried haven't given me the results that I'm looking for, and so I am trying to go a little crazy and see if I can't force the growth. Uh, moved on to my deadlifts. I was having some the same gracilis inner inner leg adductor pain that I uh, the tightness that I seem to get whenever I go from a lower frequency program back to a higher frequency program. So it was a little annoying. Um, the belt helped to offset some of that difficulty. But the combination of that and refining my groove uh, didn't didn't end up producing the result that I really would have wanted for this particular session. Um, this is a 655 pull. I did four reps. Uh, the th the fourth rep, I actually get forward pretty hard, and you can see that I'm compensating for my uh, tight inner inner leg slash groin area by straightening my legs a lot faster. See right there, I straightened them and almost fell forward. Had to stop myself and then pull back to get the rep. Um, it wasn't particularly difficult, but I definitely made it harder than I, I think was necessary. But I'm still happy with it, considering it's the first day back with the belt and finding the groove on everything, and the first day uh, doing two lower body movements back to back for workouts. So I'm doing all right. Afterwards, I put 15 minutes on my clock, and I went with my same little uh, military press. Thing that I did a few weeks ago, I believe. Um, basically, what I did is I put 15 minutes on the clock, started with 140, and added five pounds every set for sets of five until I felt like I couldn't do any more unbroken sets or until I actually missed a rep. And so, made it all the way up to 170 today, I think, um, before missing a rep. Uh, also, I do want to make the official announcement the pre sale for the t shirts is now happening over at Strength Crew's website. I'll link the live link, I guess, down in the description so you guys can go check that out. Um, I got a little bit of concern from some people who seemed to think that me offering the ability to buy t-shirts uh, that represent this channel was kind of a form of selling out or taking away from the content, and I just wanted to address that really quickly and say I won't think any less of anybody if they don't want to buy a t-shirt and if you don't like the shirts if you don't think that it's something you're interested in please don't buy one I don't want these aren't for the people that don't want them or aren't interested in them this is for the people who uh, don't mind um, or have some extra money that they want to put towards this channel and get a shirt out of it I did my best in the design of these to make sure they were a quality to make sure that we went with a quality material and I put a lot of thought and intention with my friend Shuk in, in designing the actual logo themselves and coming up with something that I thought would represent this channel well and the things that I stand for and the ideas. Um, I'm not in this to make money. If if I was interested in money past a certain point, then I would definitely pursue something other than YouTube because it's a one in a million shot of, of doing anything from it. And uh, anything that I get from this just is going to go back into the things that I love, which is working out and food and putting things into this channel because that's what I enjoy doing. So I hope no one thinks of it the wrong way or is offended by uh, the fact that I'm now offering something if you guys are interested. Thank you again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating, share it with your friends. Go check out the pre-sale on Strength Crew's website. The shirts are going to go for $20 a piece for these first 10 days, and then they bump up to $25 after the pre-sale ends uh, just to kind of regulate the stock that they have on them. So thank you guys again, and I will talk to you on Saturday. Bye.